Do you want to have a robot that manages your IC2 crops in Grectic New Horizons? Well, I can show you how to get him. So first of all, we're going to make a robot using the electronics assembler. You're going to want to put in computer case tier 2, APU tier 2, memory tier 2, hard disk drive tier 1, green tier 1, redstone card tier 1, internet card, geolizer, keyboard, disk drive, inventory controller upgrade, and just an inventory upgrade. And then EEPROM with Lua BIOS. We're going to need OpenOS later. Okay, let's assemble it. While it's assembling, let's check out the farm area. So you're gonna want to build a couple of farm fields. One is 6x6, that's the working field, and the other is 9x9, that's the storage field. You can change the size of the fields in the config later. An important thing to add is that every water spot needs to have a block on top of it. And exactly in this place you'll want to have that transvector dislocator. Make sure the animating base is facing the farmland. Next to that we have prop matron to water the plants extra. Then we have the charger for the robot. You need a redstone signal for it to work. Next to that you'll need a storage container of crop sticks. It can be a chest, it can be a drawer, it can be a barrel, anything. And then last, we have either a trash can or a ch another chest for extra stuff that the robot will harvest for you. I'll just leave a chest for now. So what's underneath is extra three blocks of dirt under every farmland. And you also need to su uh, supply power to the charger. I'm using a debug power source. And you'll need to supply water to the crop matron. You can use a wrench to auto-output auto the reservoir. Let's set up the bot. Put it on the charger. Oh, as you can see, you can also rename it using an anvil. Right click it, put in open OS, and press the power button. Okay, then right install, press enter. Y. And Y. Next up, you're going to want to copy the command from description and paste it in using the middle mouse button. Press enter. You can edit the config using edit config.lua but it's not necessary in this tutorial. Okay, then you're going to want to place the spade in the last space of the inventory, transvector binder in the space before the last, and optionally you can place an axe or a mattock in this slot to speed up destroying crops. At this point you can remove the open OS, it's not needed anymore. The robot has three programs. The first one is auto tier, it's mostly used to discover new crops. The second program auto stat will automatically start up your crop until it reaches the stats that are set in the config. And the third program auto spread will automatically spread your crops. That means it's useful for duplicating and making a lot of the same crop. You can write two ampersands between the commands to run one command after the other. So let's test it out. I'll place some stick reads in a cross pattern and we'll use the bot to auto tear and we'll see the results later. I'll increase the amount of stick read we use so maybe it will be faster. This is the result of running the program for just about 2 hours. If this guide helped you, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more of my videos. See you next time.